Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How are they viewing you or this connection? What are their feelings towards you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're going to look at all of that today for Capricorn and love spirit angels guides. What messages do you have for Capricorn in love? So let's see what energies you guys are bringing first. Tell me about Capricorn's energies, please, in this connection spirit. Ooh, we got hostilities. Okay, tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. Angel of love. Wow. Okay. What's going on in this connection between Capricorn and this person? I want this one. The sun. New beginnings. Good news. Clarity. Bottom of the deck. Broken heart. Interesting. So hostilities, I feel like there's something happening here. It's like you're facing some sort of challenge or opposition. Perhaps, okay, I just heard trust. Um, maybe there's issues with trust. Let's see. Give me some clarity into these energies for Capricorn, please. Some insight into these energies for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Okay, tell me about this hostilities energy. Five of Swords reverse, definitely. I feel like there was some sort of conflict you were dealing with when it came to this connection or something surrounding this connection. I feel like the fighting is over or perhaps someone wants to wave the white flag here. But I feel like you're still on guard. Tell me about Capricorn's energies here, their person. Why is this angel of love here? Wow, three of cups. So this person wants to reunite with you, come together with you. I mean, there's love here. Tell me about this sun. Why is the sun energy here? The tower first okay so I feel like someone wants to fix something or avoid a tower from happening strength reverse Leo energy um, they're trying to bring back control of a situation is what I'm seeing so far so let's see. messages for Capricorn spirit regarding love November 2020. This is just for Capricorn, please. Regarding love. These cards are so stiff. This is just for Capricorn, please. Regarding love. One more. The sun. Hmm. Okay. Tell me more about Capricorn's energies and this connection spirit. Four of Cups reverse, a change of heart, renewed interest, opening yourself up to a new opportunity. We'll see when I clarify. Four of Swords reverse. Yeah, this, this is somebody. Um, you are ready to take some sort of action regarding a change of heart that you've had or, or something that you've changed your mind about. You've done enough thinking about this. Knight of Cups reverse and Eight of Cups. Wow, some of you could be ready to walk away here. Now Capricorn, I have you on this side. 
and have your person on the other, but the energies can be flipped, so feel free to uh, flip them if they resonate for you. However, keep in mind, this is not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, then check out my other readings for Capricorn. If it does resonate, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how it's resonating. Um, but don't try to make it fit if it's not your reading. You'll know pretty soon if this is your reading or not. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies this time? Oh, I got two. The Star Reverse, Aquarius Energy, and the Three of Pentacles Reverse. Yikes, something's not working here, or um, perhaps someone had some sort of interference, this person that you're dealing with. Tell me more about Capricorn's person. What are their energies in this connection? Eight of Pentacles. So they're working on this. They're focused. Hmm. They are focused. What's going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies for Capricorn and this other person? Ten of Cups reverse. Yikes. Page of Pentacles reverse. So I feel like this is, yeah, Page of Wands at the bottom. I feel like this was all talk. Um, there was a lot of talk. But not a lot of actually like commit committing to each other or not an offer that really led to something solid. Family issues here with the Ten of Cups reverse are just serious heartbreak. I feel like your person's thinking about working on how to fix or heal something that wasn't working or that didn't work. Or if there was an interference, they're trying to fix that. But I feel like Capricorn, you're ready to go. You're ready to walk away. Or you've had a change of heart about this because of everything that's happened. So let's clarify. Let's clarify these energies and see what we have here. Help me clarify these energies. Capricorn, please. Let me clarify these in the for Capricorn Spirit. Okay, let's start with this Ten of Cups reverse. What's this Ten of Cups reverse? Wow, Two of Cups. So I feel like this this was um, something happened in your connection. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse again. Tell me about this Ten of Cups reverse. The sun again. I saw it while I was shuffling. What's this? Ten of Cups reverse. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So, what's at the bottom? High Priestess reverse. Okay, of course, with the sun. So, clarity. This is something that's coming to the light. I have the Three of Cups reverse. This could have been a third party situation. There's somebody else here. And this was very um, heartbreaking. Yep. Someone's still stuck in what happened or hasn't been able to let go of what happened. So you saw something very clearly, Capricorn, or something happened between you and this other person where um, there was a light shed on what was going on. Um, I feel like there could have been a third party interference here that someone was probably trying to hide. This could be an existing partner, an ex-partner, a family member, a friend. It could be um, distance or financial problems, addictions, anything that could interfere in the connection. I feel like you were able to see it very clearly. And I think it was very disappointing. Perhaps this was a very happy connection. Perhaps you thought this was it or this was going to be um, a great new beginning for you. Like you really had hopes probably here. 
but it didn't work out that way. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles reverse. about the page of pentacles reverse knight of pentacles reverse exactly it could be that this person was delayed in making you a solid offer or just seriously um blocked judgment i also saw judgment when i was shuffling too can you get one more for this page of pentacles reverse the lovers reverse Gemini energy. It's like someone wants a second chance here with whatever happened or is having some sort of awakening regarding what happened. Um, bottom of the deck, 10 of wands. Burdens, responsibilities, they have a lot going on or there's this is weighing heavy in their heart. Page of Pentacles reverse, Knight of Pentacles reverse. I don't think this person was able to really commit to you. Not really. And I don't know if it was because of the interference or what. But I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, it's like a lot. They've had time. They've had time. Or, um, I feel like a lot of time has happened. And with judgment, it's like a last chance for this person. That's what I'm picking up. We'll see. Why is the Four of Cups reverse here for you, Capricorn? Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Page of Wands reverse. You're tired of the false starts, the playing around, the third party situation in the way, the fact that someone hasn't made a decision about it. <clears throat> There's the Eight of Cups that wanted to come out again. Why is the Four of Cups reverse? Yeah, you're, you're no longer giving to this person. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? Ah! <laughs> Dropped my cards everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna take this Nine of Swords down here. Anxiety, stress, sleepless nights, fear. I feel like um, it's like there's been a fear in walking away here. Tell me about the four or doing something, taking some sort of action. Why is the four of swords reverse? Yeah, this is about making a decision. <clears throat> you know you have to make a decision, but you're scared to do what you need to do. Tell me about the eight of cups with this knight of cups reverse. King of Cups reverse, heartbreak, disappointment, Ten of Cups. Yeah, you want, you just want to be happy. And this is all, I feel like this is all you've been thinking about with the Four of Swords. You're thinking about yourself, about, about yourself, about your own happiness here. Walking towards your own happiness, even if it's difficult for you, Capricorn. If this is resonating, by the way, let me know down in the comments how it's resonating for you. Are you walking away or considering walking away from something or did someone walk away from you? Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Hierophant Reverse, Taurus Energy. I feel like there was um, either someone broke a commitment and walked away from you or you're walking away because someone's not making you happy or giving you what you want. Maybe you're tired of the interferences. Yeah, it's like you want you want things to be fixed. You want that offer. 
you want there to be no more obstacles. But I don't think that's what's happening. What's this? Five of swords reversed again. I don't think that's what's really happening here. That Taurus energy. I feel like you are just... Yeah, I feel like you want things to be fair to you, but they're not. So this person could have another family too, by the way, outside of you. That could be the interference. It's like you need them to break a commitment in order to make this work. But since they're not doing that, you, you're probably thinking about walking away. Let's see. Why is this star reverse? Four of pentacles, okay. I mean, four of wands reverse. Tell me about the star reverse. The star reverse. The fool reverse. This, this reading is so funny to me. Uh, Ten of Pentacles reverse just because I love when that's why I love using different decks because it's confirmation for me that this is the reading that I am meant to give to you today. I get comments like from people like, well, why are there certain cards reverse and don't you care about like reversals or whatever with reversals or whatever. It's like the message is the message. There's confirmation in the reading that this is the message. If you don't like the message, that's something completely different. But it doesn't mean that that's not the message. Um, anyways, tangent. Okay, so the star reverse, clarify by the star reverse, and the four of wands reverse. This is telling me that there is serious issues in someone's home or serious issues in terms of stability. Like this person has not been able to heal something. I feel like this person just keeps making mistakes with the full reverse, and I think this has to do with some sort of long-term commitment. <clears throat> Either they've broken a long-term commitment that was with you, or they're in a commitment that's having issues right now or some sort of situation with family where they're having issues right now. Regardless, this person is not doing well because what they are trying to fix is not working or is not happening the way they thought. What's this Three of Pentacles reverse? Strength reverse, Leo energy. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? It's like they're trying to bring something back into control, trying to control a situation, but I don't think this is, it, yeah. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. This person is not able to bring something into balance. More time is needed, more effort is needed, or perhaps it's just not the right approach. There could be a lack of courage. Oh, okay, or this person is juggling two things. There you are, Capricorn, the bottom of the deck here, devil reversed. It's like they, they, they know they need to break free of something possibly here and stop juggling, but it's like they're still trying to have their cake and eat it too, in a way. And probably that's why things aren't working out. They're not really planning ahead or thinking far enough ahead or making good decisions here. Yeah, I feel like what they end up doing just leads to conflict. Heartbreak, disappointment, and conflict. Maybe they don't have the courage or the ability, the resources to leave a situation. What's this Eight of Pentacles here? What's the Eight of Pentacles here? They're working on something. Yikes, Six of Wands reverse. You see what I'm saying? It's like whatever they're working on, it's not successful. Whatever, and I feel like it's because whatever they're working on, they're not doing things right. Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse. It's someone that doesn't think about their actions or the consequences of their actions. So I just don't see this really panning out for your person in the way that they expect. And I, I think that's why you're done or you're ready to walk away. because I feel like it's the same old, same old. So let's see, what is the potential outcome here for the near future? Spirit Angels Guides. Potential outcome, please, for Capricorn and this other person in the near future. What is the potential outcome for these two spirit in the near future? Ooh, we got the Knight of Cups. Someone could be apologizing, expressing how they feel. Yep, Five of Cups reversed. This person really wants to recover what's been lost. 
I mean, they're work. They're gonna. They're gonna try. Okay. Whether they're successful is a different story, but they're gonna try. What's the potential outcome here? Capricorn and this other person. Yeah, the sun, the third deck that I have the sun come out. Clarity, happiness, good news. Four of cups reversed at the bottom. Change of heart, renewed interest. Maybe you want this person to change or um, make a different choice. And that'll make you very happy. Or this could be that someone's getting really good clarity about who this person is that they're dealing with. And maybe that's causing them to have a change of heart. I'm also picking up here, someone's focused on their own happiness. We'll see when I clarify what this is about, because the sun can mean several things. For me as a reader, it also, it, it's just like radiant clarity, light, seeing everything in front of you. The opposite of the moon, the opposite of doubt, confusion, and fear, the opposite of things being hidden. That's how I see the sun. as a, you know, It does mean radiance and light. It's not, I'm not just making that up, but when I see it here, especially when I see it with um, a four of cups reverse, it's almost like someone's having some sort of realization that's causing them, they're, they're seeing something so clearly that it's causing them to change their mind or have a change of heart about something. It could also be that someone's finally coming to clean to you here about something because they know that's what it's going to take to recover what's been lost. This Knight of Cups could be them confessing to you how they feel or admitting to their guilt or uh, apologizing for everything they've done because they're, they're, they're thinking of doing or saying whatever it takes here. 